was not doing anything to her. I was positioning my car to go when she was run. She literally said, what the fuck are you doing to me? First, I didn't just yell at someone for no reason. And then as I was driving away, I said, I'm, you're a fucking fat slob. And I just kept going. And that was appropriate. That's appropriate. He's sitting there trying to tell Ben Avery that uh, calling somebody who lost their YouTube channel a racist is the most inappropriate thing in the world. It's the most inappropriate thing in the world. What the hell was Ben Avery thinking? Making a joke, you piece of shit. What, you think this is a comedy channel? You think we're here just to enjoy life, you son of a bitch? Not today, Tim Dillon said. Not today. What? What's today? What the fuck was so special about today? Tim Dillon shits on the Ukrainians. 75 million people in Ukraine. He don't care about Latvia. He don't care about the Estonians. He don't give a shit about other people. He tends towards misogyny and racism when it comes to his, you know, fucking jokes. It does keep going. He's slightly unagreeable. That's exactly right. Ben Avery is hyper agreeable. He was slightly unagreeable. And now Tim Dillon is just being the biggest twat in the world. Huh? Is that what you want? Biggest fucking twat in the world. And that sucks because I was liking Tim Dillon, but his entire shtick is just being awful and inappropriate. And then he needs a giggler. He needs, you know, somebody to shit on. And then he's going to say, hypocritically, you made an inappropriate joke. When the whole thing is, like, he's Betty fucking Crocker, you know? Like, he's Abe Lincoln or Ali or something. Like, he's Mr. fucking Etiquette. Yeah, yeah, Captain Etiquette over here. Tim Dillon's only, like, 10% funny. And I need Ben Avery there to, you know, see when he is funny. Because I don't know if he's fucking joking or not. Ben lets me know when it's okay to laugh, and now it's like, fuck, maybe I shouldn't have been laughing at Tim Dillon at all, because he's just a dumbass piece of shit. Tim Dillon, why don't you bring a homeless guy in next time so you can just shit on him, you pile of shit. All this fucking, so many worthy motherfuckers to shit on, and he wants to shit on his number one, or number two. You don't know the importance of a good straight man. Tim Dillon's a narcissist p piece of shit. So, could you imagine Laurel without Hardy? Could you imagine Siskel without Ebert? Could you imagine Starsky without Hutch? Batman without Robin? What about that? Who's on first? Abbott and Costello. Could you imagine Abbott without Costello? If you just got Siskel without Ebert or Ebert, Ebert without Siskel, you got some skinny fat guy sitting there by himself. That's what you got. Tom and Jerry. It'd be like Biden without Kamala, you know. It'd be like Tom without his Jerry. So, Tim Dillon, you really had something going there. Now you don't. You fucking, what, you talk to Louis C.K.? His Louis C.K. is a piece of shit. Now you what, you think... uh you're going to ride to the top, huh? You're, you're going to... Tim Dillon was actually flying higher than Louis C.K., but if he's going to, like, aspire to Louis C.K., then Tim Dillon's uh, on his way out. He's going straight down. Straight to hell. Are you upset with me? And the guy, was, he says no. So Tim Dillon, Dillon's a fucking liar. You think that's appropriate to be a liar? Ugh, this is just so distasteful. Why is this getting...